Well, good morning. Another day. The weather is going to overcast shortly. Um, I'm going to pull the Healy out and uh, we'll take another look at that uh, uh, overrun that we've had with the paint. Um, the weather here is uh, caused by La Nina, which is a, um, a weather oscillation brought about by the, um, the Pacific currents and, and, and so forth. Anyway, let's see how we go. Okay, so here we are, and I'm going to show you the uh, paint runs of the clear that I've had. And I think you can just see that there. And as you can see, it's a spot of runs all along here. Okay, which is a bit unfortunate, but considering the fact that um, that you know, underside, overside, all sides, all the nooks, all the crannies, and that it's the only run that I can find, and uh, so it's looking quite good. And the problem is in this wheel well that uh, you will see it uh, when the wheel's in. Perhaps it might just be behind the wheel, but uh, the point is that. Uh, it's partially visible, so I'd like to hide it. I mean, anywhere else, uh, there's carpet and vinyls and stuff like that um, hiding uh, any imperfections that might be there, but all in all, um, I'm really pleased with the, uh, the result that I've got. Okay, now here comes the sun again. So, beautiful morning, um, but there are storm clouds in the area, so let's uh let's take a look at that right okay so first thing we need to do is use a fine filler i'm using the the elastic filler weiss and uh so we're going to mix up some of that and cover the whole uh overspray the little droplets cover them with this fine filler and then I've been given heaps of uh, sandpapers and we start to rub that back what I've been reliably informed and this is on our YouTube program called uh, VG Auto if you go to their website you'll see how they attack this and there's been a couple of other websites as well but I found the explanation on VG Auto's really really good and I, so I've been there picked up the parts that I need to clean that up polish it back and um, so let's do some mixing and see how we go so haven't done it before uh, but let's just see what uh, develops the can <laughs> tells me that the, uh, the mix ratio is two percent of whatever I put down so um, I'm hoping this will be sort of enough there and with a mix of about two percent about there I'll keep it a little bit light because the weather is pretty good here and it's a little bit on the warm side at the moment the sun's out so let's give that a good mix Okay, let's see how we uh, we go with this. Starts about there and finishes about there. I think I've uh, mixed up far too much. 
but try and get it to feather and the underside as well to feather in and that's it there mixed far too much but never mind and we'll try and get it to feather just there like so and just clean it up okay we'll let that dry I'll let that dry and uh, come back come back to it I hope this works and I uh, can't think of where I could use this filler. Okay, that's it. Uh, let me tell you what went wrong here um, as you can see the I've got probably 90 well all the overspray bubbles are pretty much gone I mean there's a tiny little bit that I can see in little areas but what I've done here is I've actually removed the paint so the clear and the blue underneath so see this white as compared to the, this is the resin and this is the white of the undercoat, the primer. So I've been rubbing away thinking that this was um, resin and uh, whereas in actual fact I've been rubbing and rubbing and going down to, well, <laughs> bare metal eventually. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is pretty well reasonably rubbed back fairly well. I'm going to just clean this up and then uh, respray that. I'll respray it blue, 
and uh, seeing as um, I've got about a 600 grid in there at the moment um, and I can still see a couple of ridges as, as the water's drying a couple of little spots so I'll rub that back a bit more and uh, uh, what we'll do is um, I'll respray that because I'm definitely not happy with that uh, so silly me um, put it down to a lesson learned I guess uh, nothing wrong with that I suppose just a bit of wasted time but um, well I think I've gained experience and the awkwardness is that um, it's a bit bumpy here because this is the original um, you know 100 year old panel not quite but it's the original um, wheel well and uh, it's uh, bumpy it's a bit bumpy in all this area here so if I did that on an outside face on an outside surface on an outside panel um, they've got to flow very well and you, you wouldn't get any of this sort of stuff because that would be dressed out long before it gets painted with uh, various fillers and so on so so from along here I need to respray just this area here um, the paint dribbles have pretty much gone. I'll clean those up a little bit, as I said, and uh, we'll just see how we go with that. So I'm not going to do that today. I've got other things to do. And um, so this lesson will finish in, uh, in the next lesson. So uh, not that there's a lesson to be learned. Well, there is for me, but uh, anyway. So a bit disappointing, but um, I sort of suspected that I might, you know, do this because I'm just not that experienced in this sort of uh, area. Painting, filling is something that's fairly new to me, so uh, we'll see how we go. So we'll set up for a respray.